Hello everyone, welcome to Mark's Finance and Fitness. This brings us to the final day of our outdoor fitness uh, weekly video. Today we are visiting the west side of Albuquerque. Uh, previously we went, we went to the top of those Sandia Mountains that you see there. But now we are going to talk about the petroglyphs, which line for miles the west side of Albuquerque. We specifically visit the Rinconada Canyon. Now this canyon uh, is very, very interesting. It is filled with many petroglyphs. The word petroglyph means that they are images created by removing part of a rock surface by incisioning, picking, carving, or abrading as a form of rock art. And in this canyon, there are over 1,200 petroglyphs. Now, these petroglyphs were formed, and when I say petroglyph, I'm speaking either with the art that is chiseled on the rock or these uh, escarpments that you see um, leading up to the top mesa part. But they were formed by volcanic activity about 200,000 years ago. And what's really neat is that this is very much a place for a lot of different plant and animal life. And this is actually a national monument. There are many different hiking areas along the west side of Albuquerque. And in a lot of these pictures, I zoom in and you'll see ancient petroglyphs. And I want to speak to this briefly. So archaeologists believe ancestral Puebloans made most of the 1200 petroglyphs in this Rinconada Canyon four to 700 years ago. The earliest known method of making petroglyphs was by striking the basalt boulders directly with a hammerstone, removing the dark desert varnish on the boulder surface. Later, a more controlled execution was developed by using two stones in much the way a modern hammer and chisel is used to make images on the boulders. This hammer and chisel method gave petroglyph makers the ability to peck images with detail. You'll notice it's very sandy as well. There's some great history about that, uh, how that was formed by a uh, mountain chains to the west that got eroded by heavy rains, which helped form these petroglyphs. And Pueblo elders believe the images are as old as time. They also believe that the petroglyphs choose when and whom they reveal themselves. You may not see them all. The images include human-like figures, circles, spirals, anim animal figures, and geometric designs. Pueblo Indians use petroglyphs to teach their children about their history, culture, and spiritual beliefs. This was really awesome. This took us about an hour and a half. You can take up to probably two hours if you read all these neat information boards they have. And just looking up, it's amazing. There's thousands and thousands of these lava-formed boulders and like they said, there's over 1,200 petroglyphs, these drawings that these ancient people drew. It's amazing to me that after all these hundreds of thousands of years, these rocks are still very dark in color. The sun does not take away from the rich darkness that they are. They're, they look solid black in a lot of ways. And this is just a beautiful canyon. This was a really nice day. Uh, there's some more drawings as I zoom in and they're everywhere. You just have to really uh, keep your eyes peeled and you'll follow in. Now I grew up in Albuquerque and my dad told me that he brought me here when I was around three years old um, and would bring me here a few times but since then I haven't visited till now and it's amazing when you just look and see what's there's some really cool pictures there by the way um, but it's amazing when you just kind of explore your own backyard, what you'll find. And I recommend everyone to do that. It's so beneficial. This was a cool shot. There's the moon, the sandias, and the petroglyphs in the city of Albuquerque. Remember, we went to the top of that mountain in my last video. And here shows the canyon. Um, but again, I can't believe I didn't visit here more often and I plan on doing it. It's a nice hour and, hour and a half to two hour walk. It's not that difficult. And it's just beautiful. So this brings me to the conclusion of my series. I want everyone to start planning some outdoor trips and travels around your area. You'll be surprised at what you find. Getting outside, walking, hiking, biking, whatever you can do is just good for someone's fitness and mind. 
And I really thank you guys for tuning in this week to my outdoor fitness series. This was my last one. And we will talk to you next time on a really cool financial topic. Have a great day.